My name is Ismari Guadarrama, and I believe Melvin Ortiz is innocent. My name is Josiah Lini, and I'm here because Rodney Derrickson was wrongfully convicted of murder. My name is Cynthia Garcia, and I believe that Arlongo Trey Jones deserves a second chance at life. My name is Natalie Orsi, and I wholeheartedly believe that Charles Santana is innocent. My name is Kayla Wyatt, and Raymond Allen Warren is innocent. It's innocent. It's innocent. 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 Are innocent. Rodney Derrickson, Orlando Trey Jones, Melvin Ortiz, Charles Santana, and Raymond Allen Warren are innocent. Collectively, they have spent 122 years incarcerated for crimes we can prove they did not commit. It's time to bring them home. No right of the victim is advanced by incarcerating the innocent. Melvin was 17 years old when the crime happened, 18 when he was arrested, 19 when he was convicted, and has been in prison for 23 years. Despite not having any DNA evidence to link him to the crime, despite having 19 alibi witnesses who said that he was 20 minutes from the crime scene. Melvin's case is not a case of eyewitness misidentification. It is a malicious, purposeful, and calculated attempt to pin the murder of a good man on an innocent boy. In 1994, Raymond was sentenced to 18 years to life for a murder he did not commit. Wrongfully convicted following the coerced testimony of two juvenile witnesses that have since recanted, Raymond considers his life to be a nightmare. Both witnesses who testified against Allen have since said that they lied and that the police threatened them into incriminating Allen. Allen has been incarcerated for over 26 years for a crime that he did not commit. He now sits at 44 years old still fighting for his freedom. Rodney is an amazing person and advocate. He's someone that does so much work, not only for himself, but for other incarcerated individuals and for the prison reform movement as a whole. At the age of 10, Rodney went to bed every night fearing the gunshots outside of his window. And seven years later, he was blamed for them. What did he do? He did absolutely nothing. Rodney was asleep at home during the night of a murder, and he woke the next morning to find that former residents of his housing project had accused him and framed him. He has spent more years of his life incarcerated than he has as a free individual. I mean, it's been 26 years. Every single day that Rodney is incarcerated is a gross miscarriage of justice. Trey should have never been convicted. To convict him, a jury had to find him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But doubt was all there was. There was no DNA, no forensics, nothing that linked him to the crime. His mother had him at 14, and he was 16 when he was convicted to a life sentence. He's 52 now. Trey's story is one of lives taken too soon. It's one of tragedy, perseverance, and injustice. Left to raise himself on the streets as an orphan at age 11, society let Trey down. And every day he spends locked up for a crime he didn't commit, we continue to do so. In the early morning of January 1st in 2008, Charlie was convicted of a crime he did not commit. He was charged with manslaughter in the first degree and sentenced to 25 years in a maximum security prison. The lead detective investigating this case was a corrupt individual who has 15 complaints filed against him. The prosecution cut up video evidence. They only showed portions to the jury. Charles Santana deserves his life back. He is innocent and we are going to bring him home. If Suffolk County had their way, I would still be known as 90T3844. Behind me is the courthouse that I was convicted in 1990 and sentenced to 50 years to life. After almost 18 years in prison, I was exonerated. And now I'm an adjunct professor at Georgetown University where I co-teach making an exoneree with my childhood friend, Mark Howard. We get so many cases referred to us, and all of them are absolutely deserving of our time, our attention, and of justice. Let's bring them home. Trey deserves to come home. Alan has been in prison for 27 years. We need your help seeking justice for Alan. I wholeheartedly believe in Charlie. We all do. And now it's time for you. It's time to bring Rodney home. It is time to bring him home to his family and friends so that he can finally contribute to the society that he was born to change. Melvin Ortiz is an innocent man. It's time to bring him home.